Hi, welcome to RestoShort Tutorials. So in this tutorial, we are going to perform the JSON extraction out of a you know response with using RestoShort. We did it earlier, you know, using the built-in RestoShort method called extract, right? By providing the path, but you know, it it wasn't you know very efficient in its working. Like you know, suppose you're getting a big JSON in a response and you have to extract some multiple values out of it. So uh, with the extract method again again multiple times you know you're firing up the request okay which is bit of time consuming suppose you know I got the response already with me so why don't I you know extract values out of that fetched response right this is not incorrect but this is not efficient right so you know to efficiently get the response uh, to efficiently extract the values we can use the built-in class within rest of short libraries called JSON paths so let's see you know how we can do it so and we'll compare it, you know, both the uh, both the ways, you know, after we're done with this extraction. So I'll create another class. Let's say extract using JSON path class. Okay. So this is my class here. Uh, let's say the test will remain same. I'll put the same test here, and I won't do the extraction multiple times this time suppose you know with this response uh, let's comment it for a minute this too okay now let's talk about it so this is fine you know this is my request I got it I'm printing the response but now I don't want you know multiple times you know fire up the request I want to extract values out of a fetched response so what I can do I can use the JSON path class there's a class called JSON path okay let's say uh, the object name I'll give is extractor which will be equals to object your response object dot okay first let's uh, import this JSON path Right, and use the method call, uh, called JSON path. Okay, so the JSON class, uh, path class has a method called JSON path. So simply I created the object and I provided the response that holds the, uh, you know, the JSON and I use the method over it. Now, all I have to do is simply use this object called extractor. Okay, and simply use the method called get. Right, and you know, just write down the key like earlier we were writing the whole request again we don't have to do that again I simply pass the key and the get method and the value will be extracted so let's say again I want to extract email okay and I know the string value will be extracted so I can store it inside a string object so I'll simply say string email equals to this Okay, same I can do for the other values, but you know, you see the beauty of this that I don't have to write the request again and again. I'll simply reusing the response, you know, which is stored, which is fetched once the request ran. Okay, so the same thing I can do for the, uh, let's say the first name. So here's my key. Uh, actually, the N is capital with the key, so I'll just change it to that. And same for, for the other values too. Okay, let's say there are two more values that we want to extract. <coughs> this is the last name. And the key N is capital, so again I'll change it. Will be stored inside the this variable. Okay, and the last one is program. We'll see the you know the same results, but this time you know we write it much more efficiently. So using the you know JSON path class helps us you know when we want to extract multiple values out of a response. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'll uncomment this part. Okay, till here. And let this be commented okay so again let's run this and see you know we'll see the same result or not okay so here I'm done with it so again you know you can see that the same values got extracted like we're doing but you know this time we are not running request multiple times okay 
So that's why we've used this class. For the last value also, which is courses, the same class will work. So this time I want to store it inside a string object. Again, it's an array list, which is which has a generic type called string. And here I'll pass the object, let's say, uh, courses, which will be equals to extractor dot get what it will get out of the uh, out of the key called courses okay again I can use you know this enhance for loop which will simply do the work okay so this is courses so now if I will run this again we'll see the same output but we did the extraction you know in the in the better way okay this was the same output we are getting from the this test that we did earlier right but I'm not you know firing up the request again and again right I simply use the JSON path class and from the same response I'm extracting the values okay so this is about this uh, second session of this extraction so this is a very basic things you know that we have to keep in mind so if you like this video please like it if you have any doubt write down in the comment box below you can download the student application on, on which you know I'm performing this uh, different examples from the description box below itself. Okay, thank you.